so people have been asking for a video about the cancer which I have um, it's multiple myeloma uh, it's the spongy tissue in the bones and uh, it's the blood cells that make, that make your immune system strong uh, the plasma cell and it usually attacks the plasma cell so that's what uh, the blood cancer is that I have more money uh, yeah I'm six years in now and uh, I go out walking whenever the tiredness isn't here or the bone pain isn't here first noticed uh, my symptoms were bone pain back pain I was always getting back pain I was, put, I was putting it down to my work as I said I do a lot of cleaning ladder work roof work gutters facing stuff like that I was just putting it down to my uh, workload uh, until February 17 so we're back went to the doctor and next thing I knew was in the city in Belfast being treated for multiple myeloma not a good process to go through at the very start I've had a, a stem cell transplant in 2018 which I don't recommend to anybody uh, you get two chances to actually do this by harvesting your stem cells in your body which everybody has so these would be the good cells and then they'll hit you with a massive dose of uh, a massive dose of chemo where you lose your hair you become very sick and your immune system will be non non-existent it just won't be there so that way everybody that visits you if anybody um has to take precautions the room that you're in you're in a room and um for most of your time by yourself except for the doctor and the nurses who are treating you and i must say they're worth every bit of money to get and you get more um after that I uh, got out and was on a chemo drug, a treatment drug, which I was lucky enough to get uh, Get it. It was uh, lefitamide, the drug that used to be given to the pregnant women in the 70s and 80s in Ireland. It was a German manufactured drug and some of the children were born with their limbs um, missing. Well, this is now a cancer drug and it's being treated. So it's in the treatment of multiple myeloma blood. Uh, cancer patients and have found that it's it's working to my advantage at the minute as I say I'm six years in and still can walk and don't get me wrong it's not the same life as what I had before February 17 but the way I've looked at it is still here there's a lot of people it isn't and um, I believe that this is now new life and you just have to accept it and if you don't you're going to battle it all the time I, there was another question that people seem to have been uh, asking me on tiktok and also on uh, private mail instagram they've been asking me uh is my illness terminal uh yes Multiple myeloma is uh, a treatable cancer. Uh, unfortunately, at the minute, they haven't discovered a way of uh, extinguishing it. And uh, for that reason, it is a terminal illness. Now, it's a treatable illness, as I say, and I, as I say, I don't even think about it. And to be honest, my consultant asked me never to Google it. It will give you five to seven years but now with uh, new treatments and what have you, uh, you can live a lot longer as such. Um, I look the picture of health, I know that. I know people are probably gonna say, but my God, like you look well and you're out walking and stuff and you've got a terminal illness and stuff, but don't get me wrong. There'll be videos in the future of letting you know when I'm ill and I'll show you what it's like to be ill. But um, in the meantime, uh, I'm just sort of answering questions because people are starting to ask me stuff that I've never really been able to answer.
but yeah I'll, I'll answer anything I've never hid, hidden my illness in any way I've always um wanted to inform people about it uh, it's something that we need to inform for it to be researched more is my belief on it anyway but um, as I say, this is my new life, that was my old life, and this is my way forward. And um, hopefully that will answer the question. You going for a walk, Baba? You going for your walk? Oh yes. I still love walking. So, try and do it as best I can when I'm fit. This is a great walk, it's in Lisnorik, uh, community trail. Uh, it's got a bit of a hill, but a part when you're at the top then it's all down through forests and stuff it's it's actually great for your head as i find it's a a big part of your recovery during your illness is keeping that head straight you need to keep your head straight the alarm baba do you hear it oh love this seat here great for all your rest halfway around okay so another question that I would have got quite a lot would have been um, symptoms of my blood cancer cause and what I felt before it and what have you. So as I can remember, uh, with me being in the industry that I am, I used to do a lot of uh, ladder work, as I said, and gutters, facey, power washing and stuff like that. And I always had a sore back toothache, anything, anything in the bones, sore legs, arms, and I just really did put it down to my work, and um, what else, it, <laughs> it was surprising the amount of pain that I was in before I was actually diagnosed, it's called a, a flotation period, where the cancer hasn't came out entirely into your body to be diagnosed, but you will feel it uh, with regards to toothaches, uh, back pain, lower back pain, down around the pelvis area, your knees, uh, your wrists and stuff like that. Now, <laughs> anybody that does the kind of industry or anything that's outdoor physical work will, will put it down to basically um, their work, their job, their sport, whatever. But I'm telling you, if you have pain, on any way in your body form. It's your body telling you there's something wrong. So get it checked. And if they're telling you different, they're not in your body and they're not suffering it, get it double checked, get a second opinion, but don't let it persist no matter what anybody tells you. Any doctor, anything, they say, oh, that, I'm putting it down. They don't know, they're not in your body. Get your full blood MOT test done. That's six bloods, not three. You need the six bloods done where they'll check everything and then they can decide what's wrong with you because the rest won't show up. I was in the hospital with sore backs. I had my bloods done, three bloods, everything done before that. Uh, I had spasms in my back and what have you. I ended up with uh, a fractured vertebrae which I'd been walking about in for six weeks. So you can imagine the pain that I was putting up with. Um, that's basically how I got a sore back, went into spasm, couldn't get out of bed. Doctor came, gave me an injection, enough to get to the hospital. And then, yeah, after that, it just went to the doctor and he done a blood test on me. And rang me and says, Polly, you about? And I says, no, I'm actually working somewhere and I have men working for me. So I couldn't leave, but he says, well, she can come or I'll collect you, it's one of the two, but I need you to come in, there's something wrong with your blood and I have a bed ready in the hospital. He never told me what was wrong with me initially, but I knew there was something wrong if he was calling me in. He also said, bring that girl with you as well. Um, and I says, right, what's that all about, huh, you know? So she came along, I think she was more devastated than what I was like, you know? Again, he didn't tell me initially what was wrong. He just simply says that there was a, something wrong with blood and that there was a bed ready for me in the city hospital, the Bridgewater suite in uh, Belfast. So that was kind. <laughs> I asked Sherry to go and um, get me a drink because I wasn't feeling well or whatever. You can obviously understand. So she went out of the room and I asked and I says, what's the crack? And he went, 
uh, it's just something wrong with your blood. I said, is a cancer doctor? And he said, yeah, it's a blood cancer. And that was how I was diagnosed. And that's how I was feeling. So remember, six bloods, MOT, and make sure if you're not feeling right after it, go back, keep coming back, go to another doctor, do something. If your body's telling you, it's telling you for a reason. So go and make sure and see about sick it. Sick waiting, Baba. Are you sick waiting? Yes, you're sick waiting on me. You're saying, right, Daddy, come on, let's go. <laughs> so another question was, surely to God in 2023, doctors are bound to have it. They're bound to have an idea. Doctors are still confused about what uh, causes the actual breakdown of the cells, the plasma cells. Um, they know it's a DNA based, but uh, what triggers it is still a mystery. And it seems to be from 60 or from 50 to 60 is that period of time that the blood cast, the blood plasma cell will break down and therefore that's when most of the cases are diagnosed in between that frame. I was 50. I was just after my 50th birthday party. I just wasn't feeling right. You know the crack when you drink and um geez I could drink one. I don't drink now. I haven't drank in six years. Might have an odd half here and there but it's always zero. But yeah I don't think I could drink, to be honest, with the medication that I'm on. I'm on a lot of painkillers. And um, a morphine, short tack based drug as well. Which is basically keeping me above ground. And free from a lot of pain that I was, that I was feeling before the stem cell transplant. Yeah, they will someday, I'm sure find out what causes it but at the minute it's the only blood cancer that can't be um can't be cured so what we're trying to do and a lot of other people that has it is to inform people about multiple myeloma and the more people knows the better chances of uh, curing this disease because it's horrendous come on Come on, there's no, there's no mouse there. Come on, let's go, good girl. Another thing that people ask me is, how do you cope? How do you cope? And I answer them, well, what do you do? <laughs> I can't do anything else. And it says you're so positive about it now. And what else can I do? Like, I have to get on with it. Um, this is now my new life. What happens to the guy that falls off the motorbike and breaks his leg and he can't walk properly? He has to bottle on. We all bottle on. It's part of our DNA. So, yeah. This is what I do. Baba! Where are you? That dog keeps going away on me. Some great butterflies out here. Yeah, but I just bottle on. As I say, um... I'm a survivor, I always have been. I'm a worker. And this is now my new life, and this is the way I move forward. I will be putting up more videos with regards to multiple myeloma, and I'm also gonna start putting up some of my treatments and the way I'm moving forward with my illness. So I hopefully you will subscribe and check in. I thought there was someone behind me there. Subscribe and check in and maybe like some of my videos, please. I'd appreciate that. And uh, I'll keep you informed with uh, what kind of drugs I take and what, what I'm taking them for. And hopefully, uh, maybe so. I was talking to someone the other day uh, in an interview and they were telling me that their mother had it. So if I can help anybody in any way, there's a comment section down there. Put the question down, and I promise you I'll answer it as best I can. Um, and another thing, don't worry about it, because you know what, we we'll have some great professional people out there. My consultant, who I have to mention, Sarah Lawless, 
is so into it. There's doctors out there that do their job, but she's so dedicated to multiple myeloma. I have to give her a mention. She is um, my consultant in uh, Bridgewater Suite in Belfast, and she's fantastic and has been great to me, as well as all the nurses and the team behind her. So that's my wee, uh, that's my wee video about what way I am, and there'll be more in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget, subscribe. See this? Please, it doesn't cost much. Just press the button and the bell. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.